Alright, what's going on guys? So today, I'm sure the title of the video, you already know what's going on, but this is my uh, John Deere 1974 John Deere 112 electric lift. Uh, I got it just over a week ago actually. Picked up two of them, one as a parts uh, tractor and the other one you see here. So uh, I've done a lot of work over it and uh, my last two videos I think have been about it, but uh, they haven't been in like detail of like what, just not what it is right now. And so we're gonna go over it. So if you go back and watch, I don't know, you, some of you I'm sure already have, or if you're new to the channel, you saw the 112, clicked on it. Well, I picked these up, two of them, tiller, snowblower, and a deck. Picked them up pretty, pretty reasonable price for all of it. And uh, I mean, you can go look at the video. Those fenders were off the other one. That right panel right there was off the other one. And then it had different tires. Um, but yeah, so, sorry, there we go. So this has been a, a journey last week. Uh, at my free time doing this, but uh, one of the nights in the last video, as you saw, we got these tires mounted up on it, or we got the rear tires mounted up. Didn't put the front tires in just because they were a pain. I did them uh, the next day, I think. Just wasn't going to make a four minute video on just the front tires, and I already had uploaded. Anyway, so AG's in the back, 23 by 10 and a half. Front, we got the ribs. These are 16 by six and a half. Those ones are nice. Uh, I stole these all off of the Cub Cadet. Reason being, the Cub Cadet, never, that was my first real garden tractor and that's why I threw those on there. I had those laying, laying around and I got those for super cheap at Track Supply. They're high runs, go check, uh, go check them out. Get yourself a pair, I love them. I've done a video on them, but anyway, so. This is a really, really nice uh, tractor, uh, in my opinion. It's my f favorite at the moment, uh, which is gonna change uh, probably this Wednesday when I get a new one. But uh, this thing is just amazing. I mean, we look under the hood, we got a 12 horsepower Kohler K301, I believe. Just ordered a brand new carb for it. So if you go watch that video, it needed a carb and it needed new fuel lines brand new battery and some other things you need the points sanded and whatever cleaned it's got a new spark plug it's got a new carb on the way that's the one that was in the cub like i said new fuel line new battery as i've already mentioned blah 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 that's pretty much the only thing i put into this thing and then the tires i had laying around already i bought it wasn't for this and then I think that we were trouble when troubleshooting. I put that coil on it, but pretty sure the other one, worked, all the two work. So I'm gonna have to put those in the cub and then hope they work. Of course they should. This light right here. Let me turn the key on. This light. Oh, I turn the. I have to turn the lights on. So turn the lights on. You just have this switch right here, kind of like a choke. Just pop it out. That one easy to get. All right, so lights. This one works, but it's just not hooked up, so you have to like leave it there, kind of like that. So I just need to get soldered back on. This one, this one just doesn't work for some reason, so I'm not sure why. I'm gonna assume it has something to do with the wiring right here, because it's getting power. Oh, oh, my bad. It's getting power, but I don't think the light bulb is good, so I gotta figure out how to change those. Might just switch them to LEDs. So turn those off. So I got that. Um, let me close this. Hood's in pretty good condition, fair condition, but I plan on fixing this. Front bezel, okay condition, just this right here, which once this is fixed, it should just cover it uh, for the most part. Not sure what this is. I haven't really looked into it. Those lights, yeah. I plan on replacing them for LEDs. Grill, really nice. No dents uh, that I can see uh, or can tell. This I plan on painting uh, green again. The co this down here is all rusted. Uh, the cover for the motor, it's all rusted down here. And it's a pain to get off, so I just didn't, but you can't see it, so I, it's fine. Uh, it's got a different gas tank on it, the one that was on the other one, just because this one was already clean and all. Um, yeah, so this thing is, this thing's nice. Now you're probably wondering, uh, where's the tiller and all that? 
So I actually bought this tractor just for the tiller and this. Try to get a tractor with the tiller. And because I've been wanting a tiller with a tra tractor with a tiller. Jeez. So it'll go on. I've already had it on. Just need to get two bolts, which I had on here. I took them off. I had the tiller mounted. I'm missing the lift bracket right here. I'm missing it. So I need that. And if you're and if you know anything about old John Deere 112s or 100 series, 200 series, and rototillers, you know that the lift arm for the back is impossible to find. I found one for $175, whole entire thing on eBay. I should have bought it. I was wait. I was waiting to see if I could find another one. I regret doing that. Should have ordered it because it sold the next day when I went to go try to buy it. So now I can't find one. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna try to possibly just make one where it's just weld the thing right here and make it so it's not from the electric lift. It's just manual lift. You just crank it, lift it out, crank it. You know, I don't know. Gotta figure something out. But tiller is in fair condition. I don't really care about the snow blower or anything. Um, the mowing deck I plan on trying to get put on it. But yeah, it's nice. I painted up the rims, as you can see. There is an oil, uh, leakage right there, unfortunately. So I got a five seal for the axle there. That's not going to be fun. It doesn't leak as bad, that bad, but it does leak. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll start this up for you guys. You want... Seat is original. I'm missing this thing right here. I got to order one or something. So, I mean, lift works. You can hear it. And then I assume that uh, when you have weight, it'll go down. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's weird. It, you gotta play with it. But, like, it doesn't go down, so I assume if you have weight or on it, it'll go down. Like, if you had hydraulics and you didn't start it. So, uh, yeah, let me start this up for you guys. So, it's got the very drive. Um, yeah. So, it does seem to burn a bit of oil, which is unfortunate. So, it's sitting here for a while. Oh, keys. I guess I need to. This thing is amazing. Ambient or seems to work. Uh, yeah, it does work. It does pretty work. It's very nice. Yeah, it's not right now. But it's not going to do. It's not going to do. doing some clean up with it uh recently so it's treating me good so far but uh like i said i'm getting another one not not a 112 but a bigger way bigger couple series up tractor hopefully wednesday so i'm gonna want to edit and publish this but probably the day this uploads is the day i'll be going to get the new one so stay tuned for that video that's gonna be amazing but uh yeah that was just a quick video i thought i'd do one on it because i got a lot of people that are interested in the 112 and a lot of people that like it, so thought I'd just do a little video on it, and uh, here you go, guys. Uh, no, I'm not going to be restoring it anytime soon. Just got a ton of projects, and I feel like if I restore this one, I'm not going to ever use it right now. So and I do kind of like it a lot. So, uh, but one day I'm I'm sure um, I'll be restoring this uh, and making it look amazing, look at new, but. That's going to be it probably for this video. Uh, stay tuned for the new tractor I'm hopefully getting. And then stay tuned for, I got the Cub. I got to put that carburetor back on and fix one more thing. And she's going to be up and running again. But I got the tires that were on this on it. Um, and it looks amazing. Here's a picture. And uh, it looks amazing. So... Stay tuned for those two things, and I think that's it we have right now, or all we have right now. Um, I don't think I have anything else. Sorry, my arm was in the way. I don't think I have anything else uh, big going on right now other than those two pro uh, two future projects. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Let me know, uh, guys, what you want to see, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.